Welcome to Blending the Family, the podcast. Topics can range from dads hitting rock bottom, daughters watching their parents divorce, or even what's a good wine for couples to have while talking about finances. Here's your host, whose favorite wine is red and free. Cheap, 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 cheap. Tommy Maloney. Hey, what? Huh? Oh, microphone's on. Welcome to another... Hey, welcome to another episode of Blending the Family. Don't worry, I'm going to edit that out. Uh, welcome to another episode. I'm going to edit that out too. Welcome to another episode of Blending the Family, the podcast. I am your host, Tommy Maloney. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Most importantly, I don't know. Most importantly, um, yeah. On this episode of the podcast, we're going to talk about motivation, faith, Ah, best week I've had in a long time. Before I get started on that, I want to do a couple of housekeeping thingamaboppers. One of our past guests, Marcus Aurelius Anderson, if you uh, listen to that episode, Marcus was the gentleman who uh, uh, died, not once, but twice. And I think that if you if he, if he didn't come back to life, he would end up becoming uh, a zombie. Anyway, October 31st, his new book comes out, and let me grab that title, my phone, it's on my phone, and my phone is getting ready to die, The Gift of Adversity is the name of the book, The Gift of Adversity from Marcus Aurelius Anderson, I will put the link to his website on the show notes, speaking of authors, a very good friend of mine. And who's also a uh, who's also in the military, so serving our country, serving our great country, and she's well. Heck, Jamila, you're just a great person overall. My friend Jamila Bryant, her new book is called "Quote Junkie Diaries: Inspirational Quotes, Volume One," and you can go to her website, quote junkie diary dot com, quote junkie diaries diaries, yeah, uh, dot com. Find out more about Jamila. Find out how you can order her book. I love the book. I am so jealous because she uses a lot of color in the book. And it's so cool. So cool. I want to read you one of my favorite quotes from her book, Quote Junkie Diaries. The greatest gift you can give someone is your time. Choose wisely whom you spend it with. And I, I actually chose this because I am so grateful for you. Because you're listening to this podcast, this wacky, goofy podcast. And a lot of you have written to me. A lot of you keep coming back. Thank you. <laughs> Again, I am so grateful. Again, quote junkiediaries.com. My friend Jamila Bryant. Thank you, Jamila, for my autographed copy of the book. I am super excited. As I said, the title of this podcast is called Motivation, Faith, and best week. Let me bring up uh, the blog I had written. I wrote this blog piece, uh, and you can find it on our website, blendingthefamily.com, and I'll also link that up. Part of the uh, piece I, I talked about, which is the last part of the best week. So, for example, a couple weeks ago, my wife and I had an impromptu uh, date night. Our oven uh crashed well not not literally crashed but it broke and we hadn't had an oven close to two months a lot of time using the barbecue grill on on uh, making eggs and I, I'm like I don't care as long as, as long as we have a grill we we got through with a grill a crock pot and uh, uh what do you call it? the flat top thingy that you make pancakes on that I have um that, that was one of the few things I brought to the marriage was this uh, griddle. Griddle, that's what I was trying to think of. That and the waffle maker. But as I was saying, this is part of why we are here. And, and the, the best week started with her and I having this impromptu date night. We ended up going to uh, a local place to have wings. We split a pitcher of beer. Had some just, you know, just conversation. We just had... Things we had to get off our, our chest, and it was it was at one moment a little a little awkward, but we got through it. 
following day, I had a uh, job interview, and because of our son Connor, my now I titled him my guardian angel. It was because of him that I was able to get that job interview. I, I mean, I, I go through starting that Sunday night to the that Saturday of why every day that week was such a great week. Something that I've been missing, and it finally occurred to me the the Sunday of church a couple weeks ago, our pastor, uh, Pastor Tim, essentially was talking from uh, the book of James. And I didn't know this. This is how dumb I am. And I, I went to Catholic school, but for some reason, I must have missed that day or I was probably sleeping, meditating, not sleeping, meditating. But James was the half-brother of Jesus. Who knew? I, well, I guess I didn't get that memo. I must be stuck in the fax machine. But Tim's point is something I heard years ago from Zig Ziglar. And they both had very similar messages. Tim's message was essentially about James and how we need to build a, a positive life. We need to have uh, positive messages daily. And with Zig Ziglar, I'll always remember that he talked about the problem with motivation is usually we need it when we're at our lowest of our low. And I can tell you, uh, when I started writing the, the blog piece, I had a total uh, different uh, message I was going to write. And something inside me said, you know what, change it. Don't, don't write what you are going to write. And so I came up with this. Uh, motivation, faith, and best week ever piece. And with Zig Ziglar and the book of James, why they are so similar is that we as humans need to be positive. And I know not everything every single day is going to be rainbows, unicorns, uh, special unicorns, poop and skittles. What we need to remember is and understand that, yes, not every day is going to be the world's greatest day. And this is where I had my aha moment, is that I haven't had a week like I um, wrote about in a long time, probably years, quite honestly, years. And I think part of it has been my attitude. And if you can relate to this, uh, I know I've, I've put this in, in uh, a blog post in the past about are you a Tigger or an Eeyore? And quite honestly, as of late, I have been inside of me an Eeyore. On the outside of me, uh, I, I'm somewhat of a try to be a Tigger, but as of late, I am really deep down um, the antithesis, if I can say that 10 times fast, an Eeyore. And what this week represented was you and I can have great weeks. We can have so much positive uh, things to happen to us. We have to be in the right frame. We have to have that, that mental fortitude of, you know what? Today is going to be a great day. Uh, Brian Tracy talks about that. And from time to time, I'll put out that quote. If you believe, uh, and I'm going to screw it up and I'll just paraphrase it, but if you believe every day things are going to happen to you in a good way, they're going to happen. And I and I read that quote, I post that quote, but I really didn't believe that quote. And here's where Zig's uh, message in, in the book of James really resonated with me, and that is from time to time I have these what I call God moments. And what are God moments? For example, the other day, uh, I, I only had enough gas in my car to go from the house to go pick up uh, Connor for his hockey practice. I was in super panic mode because I'm trying to figure out how do I find money to put enough in the gas tank to fuel it up so I have enough for a round trip. I have a, a job where part of the job responsibilities for me, I do deliveries. 
I made a delivery and the gentleman, which is, this is actually rare, but the customer gave me uh, a tip, $4 in cash. That was a God moment because I was able to take that money, put enough, because I, I had borrowed uh, $7 from my wife, Ann, and then I came home and found in my uh, beer uh, beer pitcher uh, change holder thingy more. I ended up getting $3 out of that. So $7 I borrowed from Ann, 4 from the gentleman, 3 uh, three more, so you know, fourteen dollars. I put in my car of gas. That was my God moment, and this is where my um, thoughts are on this podcast. So, for example, we've had uh, guests on the podcast, um, Maria Ashworth, and she talked about uh, her husband, who has wonderful faith and even though her ex-husband makes fun of him because her new husband has all this faith uh, that's not right that's not nice and then we've had the starving stepmom ladies uh, Laura Beth Hosington and uh, Melanie Anthony and they're very faith based and as I'm listening to these ladies talk about their faith and their husband's faith I just sit there in awe I mean, my wife Anne has all this great, great faith. And it's just wonderful to finally, uh, I feel like I, I just got smacked in the face going, here's your faith. I'm like, I get it now. I finally get it now. So the motivation part was Zig Ziglar. The faith was the book of James and then the best week ever. This has all been put together, and you can have this as well. I guarantee it, if you just do a few things. And as I put in the blog post, the three things that I mention are things that I've gone back to doing. And for example, uh, meditation. I use, and they're not affiliated with the podcast, but if they want to sponsor the podcast, that would be great. And that is the app called Headspace. And I use the free version, which is uh, you have 10-minute meditation sessions. And they're great. They work wonderful. Today, I took my uh, fat butt to the gym and worked out for 30 minutes because for the past two months, I'd been in physical therapy for back issues. And after my physical therapist, who I call Dr. J., Dr. Jill, she got me going where I am not in pain. I want to take what she's helped me achieve, and I want to continue getting better and better and better, including, uh, if you've ever seen my TEDx talk, I talk about, uh, as a joke at the beginning, I say, rocking the dad bod. I want to get rid of my dad bod and get into way better shape. And then the third uh, thing that uh, I wrote as far as things to help me, and and they can help you too. You can journal, uh, you can write, you can blog. Um, one of my biggest achievements that I want to accomplish uh, before Thanksgiving of 2018 is to finish my third book. And all of this has become a new light for me. Because as of late, I've just been battling and battling and battling my, uh, what I like to call my my fog depression. It comes rolling in, it sticks around, and then when it finally rolls out, it's like, all right, now what? That's it. That's that's all I really wanted to say to you today was, you can have great things in life. And I know uh, another quote from Zig Ziglar is, uh, and I'll paraphrase it, is you can get anything you want in life, you just got to help enough others get what they want. And, you know, maybe it's selfishness, but that's why I enjoy doing the podcast, because I hope I'm bringing value to you. I'm hopefully bringing uh, good content and good guests and 
good topics. I want you to have what I'm having right now, this new, this, uh, I guess I, I posted this on Instagram. I have this, I call it a rebirth of, of uh, something I was watching. I was watching a, a video of uh, one of my heroes now, Gary Vaynerchuk, and he talked about doing something as simple as, because I'm not a great writer. I, I love writing, but I'm not a great writer. But one of the things he suggested was to write blog posts within Instagram and within Facebook. I'm like, oh, I never thought of that. So now I'm even more inspired to write and, and hopefully provide more good content uh, to you. So anyway, uh, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. Um, I'm on this this uh, mantra of called uh, Smurf it up, which is another thing I uh, from Gary Vaynerchuk, and I'll and I'll put that in the show notes as well. But there are things I want to do every single day, including writing, going to the gym, and let me tell you about going to the gym for me. I am I've become more and more of an introvert, and I don't know if you can relate to this, but being in crowds. I don't like. I don't like going to the gym because I am one of those idiots that thinks, oh my gosh, people are judging me. And when I got there today, there was a, I think it was a Zumba class. I think that's what it was. And there are these ladies out there just rocking it. And I'm going, if these ladies can do it, and there was actually, let me let me just take a step back. There was a dude, an older dude in this uh Zumba class, and the Zumba class is done on uh, the like the basketball court. I mean, there was a lot of ladies and one guy doing this, and I'm going, if they can show up, and and I don't want they're not embarrassing themselves. They're making themselves feel better and feel good, healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally. I can get my fat butt to the gym. Do my cardio, do my stretching exercises, do uh, my leg uh, work to work on my back and my hip. Stop judging or stop thinking you're being judged. Nobody gives a rat's butt. So, all right. I think my rant is over. I, uh, hold on. Yeah, I need a shower. All right. That's all I got for you. Thank you again. I'm so honored that you've tuned in, and hopefully, again, I haven't bored you too much. Uh, Until next time, we've got some guests coming up very shortly, and I know they're going to bring value to you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Please, oh, before I go, please check out Marcus Aurelius Anderson's book, Jamila Bryant's book. That's it. I'm done. That's all, folks. Thank you for listening to Blending the Family. Don't worry. We know he's not funny. That's Tommy.